Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Arts Final 4 Kaiser Egg as well, Gary. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, we have made progress. Like, we, we've actually have, you know, pushed our way uh, towards the French border. We've done pretty, pretty well down here in Spain, given the fact that we literally only have, like, 22 divisions and a handful of Russians helping us out. Which is nice. There's no denying that. If you can push your way to this province, that would be very good. How many troops do you have right now? You only have, you have a pretty decent amount. The enemy still have a ton of ships down here. You're actually more friendly than unfriendly. That's a surprise. Greece. We gotta make up a new army. I gotta hire a new general. Put you in charge, and then I also need you to come over to here. Again, you're a sacrificial army, so I don't care how many of you die on the way there. Not to sound rude. Yeah, so you just transfer your way over there. I'm, I'm sure not all of you will die, and it, 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 you can actually reinforce afterwards once you get there. Or so I've been told. So again, most of our positions are pretty defendable. We're at 82, 83. Unfortunately, the Antwerp attack's not going as well as I would like. Better, got better construction. The oil situation's still not great. So, we need more fuel. What other subjects? Just Poland has six. That's not a ton. Uh, United States, can I have... Why would I trade with the United States? That's like a very, very dumb thing to do. Russia, because we... More like we don't border each other, but you know, we're in the same faction, we're like right next to each other. Can we just have can I have a little bit of oil? Thank you. And I think we're importing only from our puppet state, so even though these numbers are higher than they should be, it's okay. For 92, so we're still defending all these major cities. I know we're not building close air support, there's not much I can do about that. Building tanks up. I don't think I have any, like, tank divisions. So we need about a year on that. 19 days we have our 4,000 infantry equipment. But we lose so much infantry equipment all the time. The front, the United States is here. They're at war with Australia and with Peru, Bolivia. You're not at war with me, so why would you have troops on my border? I do not know. Because to me, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, let's start going for battlefield support. Because we desperately need, um... Did I even spend 100 points? I did, okay. It spends it automatically. Okay, we're 84. Again, these American troops don't matter. I think the AI might look at it and think that they do. But again, remember that they absolutely do not matter. Do you even connect with these guys? No. So you can only attack from one province. And it should be pretty simple to deal with. Okay, so. We're winning all of our defensive battles. We're not winning all of our offensive battles. Which is a shame. We're doing a okay down here. Spain has sent a little bit more troops, but that's okay. Like, it'd probably be safer to land in, um... Apparently I owe Malta. I don't know why I owe Malta. But that's okay. There's nobody border Liege. We'll wait for a reinforcement to come down here. 84 is nice. Let's attack here so we can... They will definitely not get some reinforcements coming in. 85 is looking pretty, pretty good for us. Again, yeah, we need Antwerp. And our naval invasion penalty is still pretty much bad. But this 88 is looking good. This 88 over here is looking good. Those are both 
battles that we should come on top of. And again, I think this should allow us to break through a lot. If you can go push into Brussels, that actually might get the capitulation. It's possible. It's worth 30. I mean, it's worth 20 as well. And again, as long as we can defend all of our other holdings. I mean, losing any provinces down here, like this... The south, it's kind of eh. It's not actually that important. Okay, you know what? You'll hold this. You just, you just sit still. At least right now. So ninety-three, we're about to break through. Okay, we did break through here. And you know, as soon as you are done def attacking into us. We gotta quickly attack here while they still have low, organ low organization. So you push here. Uh, push down, push down. Take Brussels and finally actually push our way into France. You know, it took a while. Okay, Egypt was annexed. Wait, no, Sudan was annexed. Abyssinia's gonna fall pretty soon. I don't think Cairo Pax gonna do anything. I don't think so. So we're 88, 86 here. Yeah, because unfortunately they did get the reinforcements. Which is not what we wanted to happen, obviously. My manpower is still basically at zero. But I, I, I don't... Scraping the barrel... I mean, it's just, again, it's just recruitment. An extra 5%. Total mobilization will be bad for us. And it's not what we're looking for. I mean, if I go scraping the barrel, does that make it go faster? I don't know, but you know what? Let's do it. We got to at some point. France still has a lot of manpower. Italy still has got a decent amount. I mean, Russia, you're still on extensive. No, you're on on uh, all adult serve. We still got a lot of manpower. And I'm just... You have no idea how much I'm waiting for just a flood of Russian troops. Like, as soon as... Please attack here. Like, as soon as... um Russia defeats those guys in the Middle East. Well, in Central Asia, I guess, is more correct. Okay, we're going to take Middleburg. Absolutely wonderful. Let Please push our way through here. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Ecuador is capitulated. I literally don't care. You're here. You're all pushing your way straight to Antwerp. But yes, spread out my pretties. Get the AI to worry. Get the AI to be very scared of everything that's happening right now. Like, this is beautiful. This is just wonderful. 93, 78 here is still good. But I think right now, all of our offensive... Like, all of our offensive plans don't really need to be doing anything. Like, this is our primary focus. What's happening in the middle of Germany doesn't really matter. What's happening down here in... um. Uh, Iberia. I mean, it, it does matter. But not, you know, a, a ton. Okay, we got our troops over here from Greece that have now arrived. Excellent. We gotta reorganize ourselves. Body of a commune has capitulated. Oh! You love to see it. Please take over Antwerp. You push in, you push in, you push, you push here. And if we can, like, somehow combine these front lines again, that would be lovely. And also get Braille and Army to come down here as well. Oh, I'm... Just, mwah, love it. 
Please take Antwerp. Make it, like, die. And event again, this will get the AI to kind of reevaluate a lot of its positions everywhere else. Because the French AI wants to defend the French borders. You know, there's no doubt about that. Okay, Antwerp's about to fall. Take Calais, push away here. Push away here. Push away there. I mean, there's basically nobody stopping you. I don't even know where you're going. How many troops are in Antwerp right now? There's three divisions, and then there's some other guys here that haven't actually uh, registered anything yet. Take a uh, man. I mean, a lot of other guys are going to have to reorganize themselves soon as well. These, this APC division just wants to actually just die. <laughs> but that's okay. Your guy's job is basically push your way up towards... Um... Barcelona. We can shrink your front line down like this, because Blue Army is where they need to be. Well, mo more or less. You know, most of them are where they need to be. So you push your way up. You push your way up. The Spanish army isn't that great. Yes, give me all of your stuff. If we can take Paris, you know how lovely that would be? Be the greatest day of my life. If we can take the city of Perry. How are you not dead? Like, I don't understand this whole part. Like, your two divisions in Hamburg. I feel like we should have had this resolved a while ago by now, but... I think there's like two front lines here that are kind of working against each other. You know what we... Okay. What we need actually is I think a general assault everywhere. I think that's what the situation uh, calls for. Where the hell are you going? You're, you're here. Go to this province. You're 18 divisions. Antwerp, like, it doesn't want to fall. Which really, really sucks. Yeah, like, we've distracted a lot of men. Yeah, not as many as I would have liked. Can I, like, have you force attack? I can. Force attack? Just take Hamburg and redeploy somewhere better. I have no fuel right now. That's an issue. What am I spending all my fuel on? Is it mostly aircraft or on the, on the land forces? Daily requirements. I'm receiving 0.2 a day? How the hell is that possible? How many factories am I? What am I? How many factories do I have? I'm using four to build stuff right now. The only gain 5.3. You're spending 5.5k. The army. I mean, I guess we're attacking on the entire front. Yeah, you guys don't do anything. Antwerp, I would love if you would just please fall. This is going to break soon. So you're going to push, you're going to push, you're going to push. All of these guys. Purple line, you're changing slightly. It's from Madrid down to here. I want you to push that. So, okay, okay, Russia, can you tell me why you can move this one infantry division all the way through? But when anything happens over here, it's just, it's an impossibility. Like, this this war should have been over, like, an actual eon ago, but they just have refused to do anything. Mongolia is close to capitulating. Our current capital is down here, but that's not a core. It is a core state. Okay, never mind. I thought it wasn't a core. 
So I was going to be very puzzled by what the hell they were doing. Okay, I do need to sort some things out. Delete this, delete this. White army is going to be here. Everybody who's on this front line, go there. Everybody who's here... Okay, everybody who's on this line, deploy here. Everybody who's on this line, deploy here. Delete, delete. Delete. Reorganize yourself to be slightly better. Because, again, I don't want to lose any of these holdings I gained up here in, like, Normandy. Obviously, that would be bad for us. And, you know, pushing away down from the south would also be lovely. So, France is laying more troops to Valencia. That is great. Why are you not coming up here? Please make yourself more useful. And Russia, don't get yourself trapped, because I know you are absolutely going to if we don't stop you. You have more you have too many troops. Who did I take troops out of by accident? Nobody. Right? Like I'm not twenty two no oh it took troops out of you. Let me put him in the blue. Okay, so... You're here. You're here. Okay, so that I mean that works out better. You go here. Please... Try to kill these guys in Antwerp. And just be somewhere a little bit better. You're going to force protect everything we fought for here. Problem is, like, people are trying to redeploy, like, a ton. And it's like, I can't blame them. You know, stop purple over here. The purple front line is a little long, I will admit. So we're going to have maybe something like that a little bit better. But basically, I don't want anybody else to keep attacking. Except for the people down in uh, Iberia. They are doing a fantastic job, and they can keep it up. I mean, Antwerp is a port province, so they could reinforce the city. That's an issue that we do have to worry about. But we are winning mostly here. Missing production, close air support, I know, but again, we don't have them even... Do we have them researched? No, we don't, so ignore it. I know we probably could research close air support, but... Yeah, we have troops over, like, it's just, it's northern... Central Germany, which is an issue, but... You know, that's not where our main offense actually is. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're currently engaged in about 36 combats, which is a lot. Antwerp is finally about to fall. Let's send in, like, the fast units. There we go. So all you guys, please re uh, reorganize yourself. It's really been a... Um, it's, it's been a war, hasn't it? That's one way you could definitely put it. I mean, we are winning, but the, the casualty rates are still, like, pretty... Well, I mean, let's say, look, Russia. They mostly lost troops against... 1.5 million of their tr casualties have been against frickin' Mongolia and Turkestan. Like, come on, guys. What the hell are you doing? And you haven't capitulated any of them yet. Like, what's wrong with you? I think if we took this city, that would get Mongolia to capitulate. Like, I'm... I mean, I have one city here. One, but... I have one here, but again, Russia could just take it. They could just take the city, and they refuse to do so. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. You want to subscribe, and goodbye.